What's up, people? Listen, Bryson is out of jail, okay? You know, Bryson was arrested back in July for possession of fentanyl. You know, he lied and said that he was Brent, and then he got another charge for that. And, you know, Nene did not come to his rescue immediately. You know, she let him stay in there, just like she did when he was, you know, stealing the razors from Walmart. Yo, like Bryson, Bryson, this is your opportunity to get into the rehab, get into therapy, and really get your life together so that you can show proof to the judge that you are really trying to change. And in my opinion, Nene, this is a time for you to really work on you and Bryson's relationship and make Bryson the golden child of the moment because Brent has always been that child, in my opinion. But y'all, we're going to get into the story. Welcome to Warrior's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm glad you're back. Hit the like button, comment below. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Let's get into this, y'all. Nene Leaks Troubled Son, Bryson Bryant, not living with Roa Star after jail release, okay? So, um... Nene Leak's son is a free man after spending three months behind bars, but he's not living with his famous mama following his jail release. Sources connect to, connected to Bryce and Bryant tells RadarOnline.com that the 33-year-old is in hold up at the Roa's stunning $1.8 million uh, Atlanta condo because he's living in a separate property she owns, okay? So I don't know if y'all watched the Carlos King interview, but Nene did kind of address a little bit about this, you know, Bryson situation and, you know, that she bought a house for Bryson a couple of years back and that's where he's been staying and residing. And so, you know, I do believe, you know, that that is probably where he is as we have kind of... Um, watch unfold if you have not but this is what i've noticed um you know bryson and nini do not have a very strong relationship because in my opinion like if i was in jail i wouldn't have had to go run into my mama like my mama would have been outside of the jail waiting on me um because we just have that kind of connection um good if whether i was wrong or not wrong or whatever you know she's still gonna love me and so i feel like that bryson would have loved that um embrace to be there for them even though he was wrong it still would have been good to feel like my mom she still loves me even though i'm wrong and so you know if nini was not there i feel like that just it it put more damage on bryson but i can understand why she wouldn't want to be there because you know like she said with carlos king you can only do all that you can do you know you know yeah so as this outlet exclusively reported, Bryson was released from Gwinnett County Jail on October 5th after being arrested on July 3rd for felony uh, for fentanyl possession. The documents obtained by RadarOnline.com show Nini's son post a $6,100 bond to get out of jail. However, he didn't run to mom afterwards. So, you know, um, heartbreaking. I wonder, I, 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 that's the first place I'm going to go is to my mom. And I feel like, ooh, excuse me, so sorry, y'all. Ooh, I feel like that's the first place that any child should want to go is to their mother because this is who birthed you into the earth. Like, it's just natural instinct to me. But everybody doesn't have that connection. And it just, that hurts my heart. It really hurts my heart because who else can they run to? Who else? 
Other two, our Heavenly Father Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be able to run to you. He is not staying with her. Well connected insider told us on Wednesday, adding he resides at his house Nini purchased three years ago. Okay. Um, the ex Roa star sold off the infamous Georgia mansion she shared with her late husband Greg Leakes in January 2022, putting it up on the market weeks after he passed away from colon cancer. So he's lost his stepdad. Mom is going through because she's dealing with the loss of her husband. Then we got to remember Brent had his whole situation where he was in the hospital, you know, and, 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 and you know, had just, uh, just, just scary. So no attention has been given to Bryson because everything else is popping off. And then her and Bryson, or excuse me, him and Bryce, her, yeah. Her and Bryson already don't really have that strong of a connection in the relationship. So Bryson is just off doing God knows what, but who knows what, which now we see the result of because he's in the situation that he's in. This is a lot. This is a lot. I really, really feel bad for Bryson. And I feel bad for Nene as well because I don't imagine, I can't, I can't imagine that Nene is just like okay with her son just out here like doing whatever and just like I don't want to say making her look bad because it's not about making her look bad but making her look bad like literally like what parent wants their child out here embarrassing them like this like this is an embarrassment like it's 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 unfortunate and it's it's sad but you know it's a lot to deal with it is a lot it is a lot she famously downsized by buying and moving to a 4,000 square foot condominium while trying to offload a five bedroom, seven bathroom marital home. Bryson made headlines in July when he was taken into custody for felony possession of fentanyl and a misdemeanor of laundering, um, but, at, uh, but the trouble didn't end there. So, you know, there was more because y'all got to remember, and just like they're going to address here, he was later given um, additional charges for fouling, a, a given a false name. So y'all remember when he first got arrested, he said that he was Brent Leakes, you know, and then he got out and then they had to rearrest him again because they had to book him under the correct name, you know, the right date of birth, all the information. So he just made the situation even worse, y'all. Like, this was just a hot mess. So they here they break down, you know, all of his charges and why the, 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 the bill was what it was. So RadarOnline.com reveals that Bryson's bond was broken down to $8,000, excuse me, $1,850 for the lottery charge, uh, $1,850 for law enforcement um, for false name, and then $2,400 for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. This is a lot. Nini's oldest son has a future court date and was warned that there will be consequences if there is a no-show. So he got to show up for this. A warrant will be issued if he doesn't for his rearrest. And then he for sure is going to go to jail. And my thing is, I kind of like, because this is not his first offense, I do feel like that they are going to give him some time. But I hope that they will be lenient with the time since he will show up. Because I'm, I'm speaking that he's going to show up. I really, really hope he's going to show up. So, you know, they just kind of go on speaking about um, the um, how Nene felt, you know, when Bryson got arrested and everything. But, y'all, this is just, this is really sad. I hate to see this for Nene. I hate to see this for Bryson. I just hate to see all of this going on because they have all been through so much. I can't imagine growing up on TV, my mom being so famous, you know, and... You know, um, I want to say that someone said um, that Diva, I want to say she did an interview with one of his, um, the mothers of his child, one of the one um, mothers. And she said that he did not grow up with Nini. He lived with Nini's aunt, I want to say, that she shared with us. So it's been a lot. It's been a lot 
for Bryson. It's been a lot for Nene. And it's been a lot for Bryn. The whole Leak Bryant's family. It's been a lot. But y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below. How would you feel, you know, as a mother, your child is getting out of jail. You know they were wrong for committing a crime. Are you going to be there for them? Even if you're not the one to pay the bill, bill, are you going to be there for them? Or if you were the one to pay the bill, are you still going to be there for them? Do you think that he should stay in jail until his court date? I just think that Bryson is so broken on the inside, in my opinion, that he don't care what's going on on the outside. But y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit the like button on this video. If you're not a subscriber, check out my channel, excuse me. If you like what we got going on over here in Royer's World, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. We're going to pray for Nene and Bryson's relationship to um, be better and to mature into a place where both of them can get the healing that they need to become um, who they need to be in this next part of their lives. I'm praying for them and wishing the best for them both. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will catch y'all next time in Royer's Corner. Bye, beautiful people.